Oh. Guys, it's Whiskey Bloke, and you're just in time for another Dram Good Review. So, guys, I'm going to do a review for you, and this time, I'm not going to go to Scotland. I'm going to go somewhere else. Something that happened... Oh, it started. So, this is serious, Rex. Something that happened the other day, um, I received a bit of feedback. I got a reply on one of my... Uh, it was my... What one was it? It was my Habana Harbin. But a Harbin, for seal, uh, review. Uh, Kenny222, I'm not upset by this, you know. Water off of a goose's back. So, yeah. Get to the point, full stop. You really sound like you know nothing about what you're talking about. Um... Sorry, <clears throat> I was um, I was just thinking about cats and how some of them don't have a home. <laughs> no, it's it's fine. Uh, Rex, please, this is serious. Rex, Rex, if I don't get to the point, I look like I don't know what I'm doing. Rex. <sighs> anyway, no, I'm not. I'm not upset by that because it's what my mum said. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but I still love you. So, it's, it doesn't upset me. It doesn't bother me. It, it's fine. I, I'm, I'm okay with it, actually. But taking into account what Kenny said, Kenny222, I don't know if that's his date of birth or his age or his bank balance. I don't know. But whatever it is, I'm going to do a review um, for you. Uh, and I'm going to do that review first, okay? Because I think it's important that you see that I do know what I'm on about, okay? That's why I'm wearing a shirt. I'm not wearing a shirt to show that. Yeah, I'm not saying that people who know what they're on about wear a shirt with Mont Blanc cufflinks. I'm not... I'm wearing that because I want to look smart for this review. But to get to the point, you know, this is for you, Kenny. Okay? There, Kenny. See? I do know what I'm on about. Got to the point. Anyway, for everyone else that doesn't mind me talking loads and just wasting time, I'm going to do a review on Amrut. Heated Indian single malt whiskey aged in oak barrels. Cask strength. Very nice. This is actually 62.8%. 700 mil. Um, this exclusive bottling of amber cask strength, peated single malt whiskey, offers the connoisseur the rare opportunity to sample this treasure of India. It is not chill filtered and comes straight from the barrel in its natural colour. So, you know, I guess that means there's been no chill filtering and no added colour. I found something interesting about this whiskey earlier. I'd also like to dedicate this bit to Kenny, 222. The Peated Indian. That's Rex growling because I'm holding his ball. Kenny, I'm not upset. You're welcome to your opinion. You know, I always get to the point. That's why my videos are like flipping 20 minutes long sometimes. <clears throat> when they could be four or five minutes if I didn't talk so much. But yeah, I like to talk. And if you've got a problem with how much I like to talk, then maybe we should, you know, talk about it. I'd like that. The distillery's name, Amrit, comes from Indian method... Uh, sorry comes from Indian mythology, and the word means nectar of life in Sanskrit. I hope I pronounced that right. 
I won't, I won't do the Indian voice. I was going to do an Indian voice, I won't. You'll, you'll accuse me of, you know, sounding Scottish. In Indian mythology, the forces of evil, in brackets, Rakshas, and, close brackets, and good, the gods, in brackets, fought against each other in a fierce war with a mythical snake. Adishisha. Not here, so even if I've read that wrong, snakes aren't going to be upset. That was tied around a golden mountain in the midst of an ocean. Wow. The fight stirred the waves and a pot containing divine liquid rose up. Anyone who drank this liquid was given eternal life. Ooh, I've just had a sip of that. It's pretty good. And repeated is made from the selected Indian barley. Grown by the... Well, I actually disagree with that bit there that I found because I've heard, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but the peated barley that's used is from Scotland. Research it. You won't believe it. So that's been in oak barrels for four years. Oak barrels? Four years? Three to be a whiskey. Four years. Because of the temperature over there, the angels are a bit greedier. So the share is a lot more than it would be on, say, God, I don't know, Scotland. But there you are. Yeah, well, time for me to, uh, oh, look at that. Time for me to do some tasting now. And this time, I'm going to get to the point. <clears throat> no messing around. No wasting time. Some people like to waste time. Some people waste a lot of time. Some people won't watch this review because they think it's a waste of time. But that's cool. That's fine. You know, I'm okay with that. Are you okay with that? Ooh. So, obviously this is going to open up more when I add some of my H2O, for those of you who are scientists. Mm. All right, Rex, I, I want to hold this for a bit. Because if I give it to you, you're just going to go crazy with it, aren't you? Yes, you are. I'll give it to you later. Okay, so, <laughs> oh, wow. You can smell that. It's fruity, to say the least. It's fruity. There's a bit of sweetness to it, which will open up a bit more later. Toffee notes. Come here. Come here. Nearly. Saw his ears, didn't you? Come here. There you go. That way we can, we can share. Okay? You just sit there, okay? And put it on your head. Do you think I should be upset with that feedback I got from Kenny222? Do you think I should be upset with that? No? Okay. So, Rex doesn't care. I don't care. I'm going to stop talking about it now. One nil. <sighs> Vanilla. Vanilla. Okay. Well, let's move on to the palette now. Because I'm not getting a lot there. Probably because of the high alcohol volume. But we'll see what we get on the palette. to each year is a second in your mouth. I shouldn't even have that in my mouth before seconds. But, you know, <laughs> I'm a rebel. What can I say? Um, let me put that there. You're annoying me now. Um, you're not annoying me. I love him. He can't, he can't annoy me. Um, might annoy Kenny. Just saying. That's spicy. There are other fruit notes in there. Uh, needless to say, Pete, in inverted commas, in capital letters, with an exclamation mark. That's how much peat there is. Oh. 
Mm. There's fruit, there's sweetness to it. I don't know what kind of... <laughs> it's like a... All right, mate, calm down. There's a bit of a mix to that. The peat is good, the peat is good. So I'll pop that there for now. You have to wait. I'm going to get my trusty water, but I'm going to get to the point here. I'm going to add my water to my glass. And I'm only doing that. I'm a little bit more, actually, because I didn't think that was like three or four drops. I'm trying to bring that down to the ideal mark. It's about, for me, you're different, but I like it around about mid-40s, 46. So three or four drops in that much to 62% should open that up nicely now. And I'm going to re-nose that, and I'm going to re it as well. Let the oxygen do its bit. It's only out of the glass. It's only out of the bottle for a little while, so it won't be that much to be happening to it. But there's a fair few things that can happen between here and the next tasting. So let's let that open up a bit. It's funny, I was having a chat with someone the other day. I don't know what they were playing at, let's say that. But they basically turned around and they said, Max, as a, as a boy, did your mum ever hit you? I said, let's just get one thing straight. My mum was never a boy. I just think the cheek of some people is just unreal. Anyway, that's enough breathing for you. A bit of water, a bit of opening. Open up to me. Tell me your deepest secrets. Now, we'll do that later. For now, let's nose again. Yeah, it's opened. He's good. Okay, so it's like an almond smell. And toffee's more to the fore now. There's more fruit. Vanilla. There's cherry. Cherry and raisin. Almost like one of those cherry and raisin. Mar is it marzipan? What, what cake is it that's got? It's not marzipan. Marzipan is a fruit, fruit cake. Fruit cake kind of smell. That's very nice. That's nice. It nice. Let's sip some. still very dry. It's dry. I thought that would open up a bit. Okay, it's dry on my teeth. Huh. But it's nice. It's really good. The spices in there, they're really good. They really come to the fore, fighting for my attention, but it's dry on my teeth. I thought that was just the alcohol percentage doing it, but I think it's actually just dry. Oh, it's nice though. Room for improvement, as with everything, but you know, there's fruit in there. I'd say the fruit is overripe fruit. So I'm picking up like bananas, but they, they feel like they're still green. You know? They're not ready. That's not overripe, is it? Is it? I don't know. Correct me. Why not? Tell me I don't know what I'm on about. Does that upset me? Not at all. Um, it's very sweet. I'd say that's like um, some kind of like Sweet as in candy, you know, that kind of sweet. Not sweet as in, ooh, a bit of honey. Sweet as in candy. Yeah, there's a bit of candy in there. Let's see, you've got the overripe bananas, the candy, other fruits that are in there as well. The peat is just really nice. It's heavily peated whiskey. I think it's 23 ppm. 23, 24, something like that. For the finish, there's a lingering smoke. There's a sweetness to this as well. Um, sweet barley kind of finish. It's there. It stays at the back of the throat for, for a fairly long time. It's a, it's a good length finish, you know. You get your money's worth. And again, it feels like there's overripe fruit still in my mouth. So, 
There is another version of this, I believe, and it's uh, 43. No. I think, I think I, I don't want, I want to say 46, but it's probably because I prefer 46. I think there's another version of Amrut Peated Indian Single Malt Whiskey, Asian Oak Barrels, but it's 46%. I'm yet to try that one, but I've been told by three or four others that that is a lot more uh, enjoyable. You can find a lot more in terms of tasting notes with that one than you can with this one at 62.8%, even when you water it down, apparently. I'm going to find out, hopefully, uh, this week. No. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, next thing. Now I have nosed the whiskey, I've tasted the whiskey, I've finished the whiskey. I now need to listen to the whiskey. Oh wow. No way. See if you, could you hear that? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Well, isn't that weird? There we go. Amazing. So, there you have it. Amrut. Task strength. Um, what can I say about this? Summary time, that was it. So, in summary, Amrut, peated Indian single malt whiskey, 62.8% volume, because it's cask strength, you know. Um, I poured it into that glass. Neat. Uh, is, you, is, is distilled using Scottish uh, peated barley. Uh, there's a story behind the mythology behind this as well. On the nose, we've got toffee notes and we've got a lot of fruit, a bit of vanilla. Then we palletized it. On the palate, there was loads of peat. Capital letters, exclamation mark, inverted commas, peat. It was all there. Lots and lots and lots of peat. Uh, there was more fruit as well, a bit of sweetness to it. I added water to try and attempt, as it were, to bring it down to 46% roughly. Uh, went back to the nose, toffee, vanilla, oh, very nice. Fruity, started to get things like, um, like uh, there were some nuts in there, you know, and there were like cherry as well, a bit of raisin, and I was like, ah, oh, fruitcake, you know, that's that kind of smell, really nice. Um, went to the palate, palate we got the same as before, but then it went into some of the fruit detail, with like, like overripe bananas, and I probably got the colouring wrong on that, but, you know, it happens, that happens from time to time. I do know what I'm on about though, I know what I'm doing, all right? Sorry, I get carried away. Um, oh yeah, the finish. The finish was a good length. There was a smokiness to it, a sweetness to it, quite nice. The barley was there. Uh, and again, there's like an overripe kind of fruity feel still in my mouth once I'd finished that whiskey. So enjoyable, to say the least. So there you have it. Amrit. I hope you enjoyed that. Next time, I've got a few things planned. I'm going to do um, an all contortion kind of like video from a tour that I did there because I got something there that I actually really value and I want to share it. I just feel like sharing it. You can hate it if you want, but that's fine. Then I also got, mm, I got given this oh, for free, but this is a chocolate tasting thing. The Highland Chocolatia, chocolate lounge and tastings, chocolate exhibition and shop. Taste the best truffles in the world. Why am I showing you this? Am I being sponsored? Look, there's a chef there. Hello. Um, the reason I'm showing it is because I have some of this chocolate, it's quite expensive, and I'm going to use that chocolate with a tasting that I'm doing, that's very valuable, uh, for Quilla, 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 or as some people say, Coal Isla, um, yeah, so that'll be fun, um, but keep keep an eye out for that, that'll be coming up soon, along with the York and Torsion video, anyway, You've been great, guys. I've been Whiskey Bloke, and this has been another Drown Good Review. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and be nice to me in the comments, because, you know, my mum can't take any more late-night phone calls. And, yeah, I don't want to be upset. Thanks. All right, see you in the next video. Bye.